Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Restaurant Table Booking App Video Series Part 8 Configure Seri Login Application Insights and Azure. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how we can leverage our application to use the Seri Log package and also the inbuilt Azure App Insights that we already have it in the website, which is free. We can use these two and log all the beautiful things in the logs and we can do a monitoring and this is super important for any application without the logs we are blindfolded so we should definitely know what's going on in the application once you deploy if not it will be very very hard for you to debug all right so we're gonna walk you through all these things and you'll enjoy this come let's get started so i'm going to open up the project if you don't have it take it from the github and if you log into the portal like i showed in the previous video you have here the app insights and the log stream we haven't enabled it click on the application insights okay we just first need to enable it so, or you can go like this also so it's enabled if you go to dotnet core you have a bunch of things that can be enabled to collect more information so the profiler the snapshot debugger even the sql command okay so when sql commands are running if you have to capture this come here and enable everything all right this is important now what we will do is we will click on this view application inside data which will take us to the application insights, right? This has the instrument key and the connection string. We're going to use the connection string, configure it in our application. So that way it will log all the details here. All right, so let's come back to the application and right click, go to add or go to manage package. And here we're going to install a couple of steady log related package. The first one that we will install here is the the one that is supporting for the app insights the microsoft for application insights.asp.net code this package is enough for us to configure our telemetrics the application insight telemetrics now once you install this we will install a couple of other things also which is called um, logging assure app service packages we will install this i'm going with the latest one 7.0.9 as of this recording that's the latest version and once these tools are installed we will install the seri log application inside we will install the seri log application inside this package helps us to put log from the seri log to the application insights okay we're going to do the configuration in a moment but the next one that we need is seri log dot asp net core supported for the dot net core version now once you install that almost we have installed four packages and um, what we have to do now is let's go to the application settings.json and here we need to have few configurations one is for the application inside the other one is for the seri log all right so i'm going to paste a piece of property here that is going to be supported for the application inside so application insights is the high level property we are setting its log level and default as information okay there are different level of uh, log level but information level is enough where both is like too deep and then we will also have something called application insights and under that connection string here the connection string should be the one that you copied from the portal i was showing you that i copied the connection string of the application inside that is what has been copy pasted here now when you get the code you will be pointing here if you're using my code which means if you use it i will get the log okay now after that a piece of information which is for the seri log configuration see all these configurations are recorded in the documentation of the seri log itself so for now just focus on that we need something called using and then we're providing the packages we're defining what is the log level and then we're also saying hey write to this app insights because we have the package and we'll be configuring that this is the telemetric this is the connection string where you need to put the log and we will enrich with the mission name the thread name all those things Right, so all those things will be recorded and then we will also provide an application name as restaurant table booking app that's it from the application uh, dot json setting wise see i put the settings here because for me all the environments are same okay in the real world based on each environment development qa stage production this configuration will be little different okay so that it writes to its own environment now i'm going to do a try catch on the main method here okay we're going to paste all the things inside the try catch because we're going to now add the seri log here now once you put this inside the try we will now start doing a piece of code for the logging okay 
the okay all right let me correct this okay the first thing is we use the builder dot service dot add application telemetrix see add application telemetrix will automatically come because this package is installed the moment you use this the reference will be added there and that's it that's it you have the connection string configured in the application setting and this is one more line of code that you need to use if you're using the latest dotnet core version that's it it will pick up automatically from the configuration as long as the name of the configuration is correct the next thing is we will initiate a logger configuration that's coming from the seri log and then what we will do is we will do an enrichment dot and here the last line is basically create bootstrap logger see the create bootstrap logger method will help us even when the application is booting and it is not working those logs will be captured those exceptions will be captured that's why we need this method this is again a piece of code that is already documented in the seri log okay we're going to use all those things only now with this piece of line we know it is going to write the message in the console we know information is the default level and we are also boosting it. The next thing is use the builder.host.use serilog. Use serilog will automatically come because we have the package installed. Here we need to do a configuration to write to the application inside. So we are passing three parameters context service logger information and then we are writing the application inside we are writing to application inside and we are also providing this is the telemetry configuration okay so services that get required telemetry configuration is it will pick up the configuration from the application setting and um, you can use either the events or the trace for the telemetry converter that's it now we will put a log dot information that inf the application is logging i mean the application is starting so here going forward all the logging we can use directly the static method called log okay now let's come back and write a few exception handling and the request and response handling exception handling is also super important see we can have the global exception handling separately and we can write a piece of code which is already there in one of my api video but i want to give you different flavors for my viewers so this one is basically adding a middleware okay adding a middleware in the pipeline which means the request will go through this and come through this when it goes through this if something happens after it went to some place when it returns the path the exception will be caught here and then we are adding the exception in detail to the uh, to the log right line number 71 will will add all the exception details to the log great now we will add a separate middleware called request and response logging middleware basically what this middleware is going to do is it will also be added in the pipeline request pipeline anything that you add in the app dot is all called pipelines the middlewares okay so how water will flow in the pipeline it will go from one place one open to another open right so if anything is inside it will cross everything and go and come through the same way right that's what called that's why they call it as pipeline pipe basically now this method is basically reading the information from the body it is retrieving the response information setting it setting it back to its original position basically the whole code here in this class it's to read the information that we are going to send it to the user put it in the log and send it that's it so request is also logged response is also logged okay so this way we capture the exceptions, we capture who's calling what, what response was sent, all those things are carried. And we just need to add app.use middleware, pass the middleware name. Alright, so program.csys, these are the bare minimum settings that we need to do, which we have done now. Alright, now let's gonna run this application and see how things works okay the application started and i'm going to click on the first endpoint and see if everything is still working good we got some result now if you go to the telemetrix the first time or even every time right telemetrix from your local to go here takes some time but it will definitely go as long as the application is running and you're connected to the internet the telemetrix will be recorded into the application insights of your web app so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to publish this application and we'll try this uh swagga thing directly on the published stuff okay so we publish this to the website 
telemetrics are already integrated so when we run we should see that now we will also see now we will also see how the log stream works now come to this um, application insights uh, settings I mean the app service app service log settings and just enable all these things uh, when you go through it basically it's saying when you when you create the logs where it has to be logged what kind of level of logs right so this is for the initial setup but later if you want to turn off it will be you can be turn off all these things uh, sometimes it is crucial that we get into a situation where we don't know how exceptions are happening we are not able to resolve it these detailed errors will help us to uh, you know trace back the exception see because we were running from local these telemetrics started coming here okay we will see the live telemetrics in a moment and in the log if you click on the log stream it will show you the live application logging because we enabled right now it started showing it's connected and it's listening okay go to this website and click on try new I mean execute basically when it is executing this is the first time it takes few seconds whenever you deploy the application for the very first time it takes few seconds okay now once we receive the data we'll go and check what's happening in the logging also you see this because you hit there and we are doing a live stream here it will show you what was invoked what is happening in the website at least we received the request so let's go to overview come back to application insights click on the view application insights and here you started seeing the server request see so far nothing has failed so I'm not seeing it in the failed uh, failure but you can see the number of times that you invoke all different endpoints are listed here I have different videos that you might have seen that how detailed exceptions are captured so this setup also will capture the complete detailed exceptions so we will it will really be helpful so I'm just clicking so many times simulating the request uh, ideally we should see these many records ideally we should see these many number of requests being hitting on the server and um, we'll see that shortly so let's run few different endpoints few different parameters all right so we have done all these things so let's go here let's refresh this see it was five count and it should increase now like I said it takes few seconds or less than a minute to show up the counts now the count has increased to seven you can see it's increased from five to seven and um, if I come back and search for us one number still showing as seven it will tell you what is the response time of the server and um, it, it gives a lot of insights see now it's showing us 20 counts and the overall response is less than a second okay so this is very useful you should definitely set up this um, to have more loggings um, you know these days logging into file is really not going to be much helpful we we got this application insights and so many things okay so when you click on a specific request you can see what went like what are the number of uh, things happened uh, by clicking view all it will show you all the successful requests and the failed request and everything all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and the more to come if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not done and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below Happy coding.